Hey everybody, Prepper for the Ages here, coming at you from my secret AC location. <laughs> yeah, I still don't have uh, a whole house AC, and uh, and so here we are. I want to talk to you today about the Cyber War. Yes, the Cyber War is here. Welcome to the Cyber War. There are several different factions doing the Cyber War. There's proxy wars, there's merc mercenary wars, and I think we're getting a little bit of both here uh, on the cyber side. Uh, yeah, what's the objective of the cyber war? Okay, the cyber war, we don't have lines where the 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 opposing armies meet and battle in the middle for position or strength or to wipe everybody out. We have more of a cyber war where everybody's in everybody else's back line. So basically they've made it through the line, they're in, they're looking for supply lines, they're looking for supply chains, they're looking to make bumps in the economy, they're looking for just interrupting of goods and services that are normally in the even flow. So the big objective in a cyber war, as in any war, is to take down the opposition to crash. In this case, it's in cyber wars to crash the economy and to crash uh, the society and have them step in and rebuild with people that are more amenable to their thoughts and ideas and their way uh, of doing things, whether it be like proxy people or it be more like um, taking taking over and putting their people in charge to, to come in and assist and help rebuild. Where have we heard that before? So this is what is happening at this point and it's just going to keep going. So there will be disruptions, whether it's hard targets or, or soft targets. Soft targets are when it hits us harder. <laughs> Hard targets when it hits the military and the industrial complex harder. So Let's see an example of a soft target soft target could be electricity uh, water it could be um, um, Just gas or things like that, but in, in the really nervous things that make a lot of people nervous is um, Nuclear power plants, so it's that's electric generation So, you know if a transmission line goes down that's one thing But if they go in and mess up a nuclear power plant they there's a couple of Possibilities. Either we just don't get power, we lose power from the electric from the nuclear power plants, or the nuclear power plant loses power and goes big bada boom. And we're kind of hoping that hoping 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 that nothing happens, and that this is going to be short and sweet, and everyone is going to to approach different sides in the next week or two, and hammer out agreement, at least gentlemen's agreements, that thou shalt not, you know, thou shalt not explode certain nuclear power plants, thou shalt not <laughs> go after hospitals, thou shalt, and 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 do those types of things. Uh, Right now, we have nuclear agreements where, you know, the allies, NATO allies, if somebody throws a nuke at us, then all of the NATO allies get together and they get to retaliate if we can't retaliate. And somebody gets somebody in NATO to get the same thing, we'll retaliate with it. There's nothing like that with cyber war. And, and even like trying to argue the definitions of a cyber war right now are probably going to be difficult. Okay, well, what's the definition of a cyber war? How do we know that it is a, uh, a, uh, a foreign entity rather than just a mercenary group out for money? <laughs> so who knows? Well, stay tuned. Uh, who knows what those people coming into the country with uh, green uniforms and no logos on? No, they're just here as tourists visiting. Honest. So yeah, uh, you've you've seen the 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 prototype, uh, the proof of concepts for the Ukraine. I mean, that's an excellent just template for you know, going in and finding out what's ex what is more, what succeeds more uh, when you're trying to harass and take over a country. And you know, you know, Ukraine lost Crimea <laughs> yeah, to the Russians. So yeah, I'd say that was a little bit successful. So there you go. There you have it. So just look out at the overall objectives and try to think of things that you can imagine that they uh, that they're going to go after next. Well, what's going to be best in their objective? So that's a uh, uh, little thought for you today. Okay. I hope you're staying cool. It's very hot out. Okay. Have a good one. Prepper for the ages. Signing out.